So I want to talk between the close relationship between code pipeline and S3. So in code pipeline, when we did create our pipeline, so if you go back to the pipeline creation, we had to choose where to store the artifacts. And we could have a default S3 bucket in your account being created, or we could choose an existing S3 location from your account in the same region and account as our pipeline. So this is definitely something you have to remember. We could have a central S3 repository, S3 uh, bucket for all our pipelines. Okay, next we had to select an encryption key. So we could use a default managed key or a customer managed key. So if we have a look in the code pipeline demo, and we have a look at this uh, artifact, for example, we can see that it is encrypted by AWS KMS. So if I click on properties and click on encryption, it is encrypted by AWS KMS and the encryption key that was used is AWS S3. But we could have defined our own customer managed key if we went into KMS and created a key for it. So first of all, that's the first thing to remember. The second thing is that our code pipeline in here is called code pipeline demo. And at every stage, we create artifacts. And as such, if we go to our code pipeline demo, uh, our S3 buckets, we can see there's a directory named code pipeline demo, which represents the exact same name as our code pipeline. And then we have different folders. Each folder has artifacts and the name of the folder source RD and test result, actually comes from the fact that it is source and test. Okay. So here, the source artifacts represents every time the code pipeline is run, the entire code commit repository. And then every time the code is tested successfully, it will create another artifact in here and will be passed on to the next stage. So artifacts are the way for code pipeline to have these services communicate with one another. So code commit is uh, pulled and then put into S3. And then code build will pull that file from S3, test it and put it back into S3. And then code deploy will pull that file from S3 and put it um, onto our EC2 instances. And this is why we had an IAM issue before. So you need to remember that S3 is the backbone of code pipeline. Code pipeline will interact with S3 many, many times during our pipeline to pass on the artifacts. Okay, next, another type of integration you should know. We could want to have our artifacts to be in another S3 bucket at the end. We want maybe to upload our artifacts to another S3 account, another S3 bucket, and so on. So as such, we could edit our pipeline. So let's edit it. And in the deploy stage, maybe we want to edit the stage and here add a parallel action. And I'll call it upload to other S3 buckets. And the action provider is going to be S3. Excellent. Now we need to choose a region, which is Ireland, and we, choose to, we need to choose input artifacts. So let's choose the test results. And the S3 bucket is going to be another one, CICD Stefan DevOps. And we could choose an object key. So I'll call it artifacts from code build. And we could choose to extract the file before deploy. And we could also specify some additional configuration. For example, a KMS encryption key ARN, that's optional. Uh, we could choose can SEL and cache control. So excellent, we'll just keep it like this and click on done. So now we have added a parallel stage to our code pipeline, such as when it does a code deploy, it also uploads to S3 at the very same time. Let's click on done and let's save this. I'll save this and here we go, it's been saved. So now let's go ahead and push a co uh, change to code commit. So we'll change this to congratulations v7 and commit these changes. So a and a.com, commit changes. And here we go, index.html has been committed to master. And now we need to wait for the pipeline to happen. So I'll just pause the video until we get to the deploy stage. Okay, so the deploy is happening. And as you can see, the upload to Amazon S3 has already succeeded. And so if we go to Amazon S3 and we go to my other bucket, it was named CICD Stefan DevOps. Then in there, we see the artifacts from code build. This file right here was uploaded by code pipeline for us. And the encryption standard is AES-256 because we have enabled uh, default encryption for this. So default encryption was enabled. So the artifacts uploaded by code pipeline in here was automatically encrypted by AES-256. And so that's our code pipeline. And as you can see, the upload to S3 and code deploy 
are happening in parallel. So that makes a lot of sense as to how we could use parallel stages to do different type of deployments, maybe a deploy to code deploy and maybe a deploy to S3. Okay, finally, I want to attract your attention onto the artifacts. So I said artifacts is what get passed around uh, between each stages and I was right. But remember that code build as well has artifacts. And so when we go to our code build and it was in our source repository in here and we had built spec.yaml, we had defined an artifacts. So the code build artifacts are different than the code deploy artifacts. Okay, the code build artifacts are slightly different, but they will get reused for the code pipeline. And so you need to remember that there is a concept of code build artifacts and a concept of code pipeline artifacts. And this is where we had our other S3 buckets, CSCD Stefan DevOps that was used by code build to create all these artifacts. And here are all the build IDs that happen and all the artifacts that get created from these build IDs. Okay, so that's it for uh, this lecture. So really oriented toward understanding the interaction between code pipeline, S3 and the artifacts. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.